So today what we're going to do, tough later folks, <laughs> questions came up, as questions do on the internet, about how um, a female police officer, how that would uh, affect uh, the possibility of breast implants below a, uh, a body armor vest. So today, uh, Jeff and I and Doug are out here with you for science. Doug protested long and hard on the way over here. We had to get him drunk. Yeah, he, we had to get him way drunk because... Folks, I don't know if you've noticed here, but <laughs> Doug is popping out like uh, Katy Perry over here. <laughs> you and Katy, what is with Ka Katy Perry? Well, I can't bring up Taylor Swift because there's nothing there. Oh, okay. This side looks like Taylor Swift. This side looks like <laughs> Katy Perry. <laughs> so, Doug, we had to get Doug drunk. Doug signed on and said it's fine to shoot him, but he was not signed up for this. We had to talk him into it. Um, anyway. So what we're going to do is put this um, standard police issue soft body armor panel over Doug and his uh, Victoria's Secret here, his one secret. We're going to put that over the top. We're going to shoot it with different calibers, starting with a lightweight little 22. we We're going to move up to uh, 9 millimeter. We have 40, we have 45 with us, and a 10 millimeter. So we're going to see if the impact will in any way rupture that... It's actually Im kind of important science, you know, because... It's very important science, Jeff. <laughs> it's very important that, that we figure this out. Totally, uh, it totally looks right there. Yeah, there's nothing nothing wrong with this whatsoever. <laughs> Quit touching it! I'm trying to get him tucked back in. Oh, okay. He's about to fall out of there. <laughs> like some kind of drunk bar girl. Anyway, um, so we're going to see what Doug thinks about this. We're going we're gonna to show you the slow motion about how these rounds impact not only the soft body armor vest, but uh, the, uh, the implant underneath. So put your comments down below. Let us know before you watch this video if you think that this thing is going to break. You saw it last time. It's pretty dang tough. So let us know if you think it's going to rupture, even with the 10 millimeter against soft body armor. Okay, we got a little side view there of what's going on. A little side boob. Side boob. <laughs> when did that become a thing? Okay, what are you doing? starting with? This is going to be a 22 round nose lead from a Smith & Wesson MP22 pistol. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. That had a lot of impact still. Did it? Oh yeah. I don't see it leaking though. Good. The 22 long rifle bullet did make a pretty significant impact, but it did not damage the breast implant. Okay, next we have... 9mm, just a little hard ball round in there. The 9mm bullet made an even greater impact than the 22, but we did not see any damage to the breast implant. Okay, what's next? 45, 45 hard ball. Okay, I'm ready. All right, Fred ready? Yep. In our tests, if a 45 ACP hit you and you had breast implants and you were wearing a Kevlar vest, well you would have been in good shape. No damage. 10 millimeter and all I have is a jacketed hollow point on this one. Oh, okay. If anything's going to do it, this is going to do it. You think? I all think right. so. Here we go. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. There you are. Woo! Oh! Quite a bit more energy. In our test using the 10 millimeter auto, we saw something a little different. Because of the intense energy on that small area, we saw a lot of abrading or friction between the materials of the vest and the bra and the implant. We've checked it after each round, right? Yes, we have a 10 millimeter, we have a 45, we have a nine and a, and a 22. Okay. We didn't shoot a 40 because kind of what's the point? It's tucked in there in between the 9 and the 10. Yep. So um, you could shoot a 40, but it's just... And we're running out of light, right. so... Yep. So, okay, did... So, driver, move that bust. 
<laughs> uh oh. Oh, hey now, hold on. So this is interesting on a couple of levels. First of all, we tore the inside of the carrier. Obviously, nothing made it through the vest. Ah. Uh, but it tore the inside of the carrier. It tore through the bra. Tore through the bra. Look at that. And. Uh oh. The angels wept, Jeff. Look at that. Look at that. That, my friend, is a ruptured breasticle implant. Okay. But did it rupture from well, the impact or from abrasion? There is no hole, I mean, direct hole in it. It looks like it was carved by a bullet. And there, of course, is no bullet in it. Okay. So what I think happened is there was just such impact back here, what we call the back face deformation, like you saw in the last video. I think this just cratered in so hard and so fast and so deep that it ruptured this very thin... It, it, if he, you know... And the, I don't think breast implants are, are that far below the skin, right? Yeah, I don't know. The, I, I'm I not a doctor. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, <laughs> but <laughs> I, I did watch a TV show about doctors once. <laughs> very little, uh, very little experience with this. But um, so this um, little bag here, whatever this is made out of, is uh, very, very, very tough, but also very thin. And I don't know how many. And the, I, I thought it was very. Um, you almost got like like you mentioned earlier it's like the uh stretch armstrong goo, goo in there yes so this as it's, you can see folks is just clear gooey sticky it's it's not quite as sticky as stretch armstrong so it's not corn syrup but it is definitely stickier than ballistic gel i didn't so, know is that, that uh the viscosity was so great does that sound yeah. scientific yeah, the viscosity. Yeah. yeah, that's Latin for stickiness. Uh huh. <laughs> um, anyway, look look at that. It's just oh to come my, out of there. don't so, don't. Oh, we, I, I might be able to fix it. If you're ever in a gunfight, don't hide behind Katy Perry. She's <laughs> not going to protect you. <laughs> well, there you go. Science. Everyone wanted to see that. It is science, folks. So, hey Jeff, I think you ought to send this out to your uh, your next patron. I don't yeah, know if it would, as is. it would just ooze eventually out of the box. Why well, they get a gooey, gooey box in the mail? Oh my! Yeah. But so sorry, Doug. Uh, we ruptured your plant and uh, broke through the, the bra. He doesn't have any significant damage on him. He sure has a lot of holes in him now. He does. He's been with us for some time. We're gonna have to buy him another beer after this. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, all right. There it is, folks. So the implant failed because of the friction between the vest and the implant. Based on this goofy test, we believe that an implant would not rupture if you were struck by most pistol rounds. And now for a quick announcement. Yes, Greg is starting his own channel. Hopefully he'll still be doing stuff with us. And maybe I'll be helping him with his channel. We'll see. But uh, be sure to get on board early. Check him out. Subscribe to OG's channel. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.